in this example, we'll be evaluating the square root of 192. To do this, we need to review an important math rule, that the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. And so this means that if we have two numbers multiplied by each other inside of a square root, we can then rewrite it as the square root of both of them multiplied together. So we can do this with 192 by separating it out into two factors. And 192 can be separated into 64 and 3. So it can be separated into other values, but I chose 64 and 3 as 64 is a perfect square. And we can rewrite the square root of 192 as the square root of 64 times 3, which can then be separated using our math rule into the square root of 64 times the square root of 3. 8 times 8 is equal to 64, so the square root of 64 is equal to 8. So now we can rewrite this in the simplified form of 8 times the square root of 3. Now if we want to estimate the value of the square root of 192, what we want to do is think about the perfect squares in the bar. 13 squared equals 169, or 14 squared is equal to 196. So we can see that that 192 lies between 169 and 196. It is very close to 196. So we can say that the square root of 192 is between the square root of 169 and the square root of 196. And so we can do this because we know 192 is between 169 and 196. Now we can rewrite the square root of 169 as 13. And we can rewrite the square root of 196 as 14. Now we know that 192 is closer to 196. So the square root of 192 will be closer to 14. Let's try it out. 13.9. Let's see how close that gives us to 192. 9 times 9 is 81. So I carry the 8. 3 times 9 is 27, plus 5 is 35. So I carry the 3. 1 times 9 is 9, plus 3 is 12. Now we'll add a 0 and do the same thing. 3 times 9 is 27, carry the 2. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. And 1 times 3 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Now we'll add two zeros and then multiply by 1. 1 times 9 is 9, 1 times 9 is 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 1 is 1. Now let's add these together. 193.21, which is very close to 192. So let's try 13.8 and see if that gives us a closer value. Try 13.9, which is a little bit too large. 8 times 8 is 64. I carry the 6. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 6 is 30. 1 times 8 is 8, plus 3 is 11. We'll add a 0 and multiply by 3. 3 times 8 is 24. I carry the 2. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. And 1 times 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4. Now we'll add two zeros as placeholders and multiply by 1. 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 1 is 1. Now let's add these together. When we add these together, we end up getting 190.44, which is a little bit further than 193.21 from our 192. So, our 13.9 ends up winning out. We can say that the square root of 192 is approximately 13.9.